We are your home theater and AV questions answered. This is AV Rant. Want your home theater or AV question answered by Tom and Rob? Send it to question at avrant.com. Welcome to AV Rant. I'm Tom Antry and I'm here with Rob H. Justin, not Bieber, again on Facebook. Justin says he has decided to keep his a two-channel only music setup in a section of his open concept living room. Uh, this separate this is separate from his TV with surround uh, sound setup. So and he's no longer trying to figure out a way for his SVS subwoofers to try to pull double duty for both systems. I think he asked that last week. So he's, it wasn't last week, but it was a while back. Was it? Okay. Anyways, these all run together for me. He's uh, using his uh, Emotiva Basox preamp at and a preamp and amp to run his RBH impression series R55 Ti towers. And now he wants a smaller, affordable, uh, $350 or less, a down firing subwoofer just to round out the bottom end. This is all in the same room, right? Uh, it no is. pressurization expected, only one seat and music only. And the down firing request is because of their cat, who Justin says is a jerk and will try to scratch anything forward firing or with a grill. So any suggestions? Yeah, get rid of the cat. Let's start Aww. with that. Hey, I don't like cats that much. I'm sorry. I, I, <laughs> I like cats. I, I like animals, and I like some cats. I am a dog person, though, like straight up. <laughs> but I like all animals, to be honest with you. But cats, let's be honest. If a cat was big enough, he would eat you. That's just, sure. That is just the truth. Dog, if you made a humongous dog, he would teleport you around if he could. But if he <laughs> couldn't, he would still just be just as nice uh... as he is. Did you actually right see the Inhumans? No, launch no. It's not. It wasn't terrific in IMAX, <laughs> but. <laughs> well, who on God's green earth thought it was a good idea to take the pilot for a TV show and put it on IMAX? Plus, they cut out ten minutes, and you could really tell because <laughs> there was a jump in plot and logic where I was like, "Okay, I mean, I've caught up. I, I know what happened, but man, oh man, could you tell there was ten minutes missing out of that thing?" So 350, choice. we used to recommend the STF, whatever, whatever, whatever from HSU, but they don't have it anymore. Uh, it doesn't exist anymore. No more STF2 from HSU. Uh, no, I'm going to point to Outlaw, and I'm going to suggest their M8, which is $300. There so it's go. under the budget that you wanted to play. Now, it is only an 8-inch drive, and it does only play down to 30 hertz, but there isn't a ton of content below 30 hertz in most music. What is he? What kind of speakers is he running in this thing? For this RBHs, thing? the towers. They get pretty low, don't they? Not really. Like, I actually really like their design because they use the big towers and all those drivers to be able to play super loud, but not really very mm. low. Um, that, I mean, that's been a criticism of it because people get there, they're like, oh, look at the size of these towers. They must produce a ton of bass. And they're like, how come they don't produce much bass? It was like, well, because they actually designed them the way speakers ought to be designed, uh, <laughs> in my opinion. But uh, yeah, no, I can I can see them lacking a bit of that low end thump. Um so yeah, I, I would suggest the M8. It's it's down firing. It's the price that you want. It's nice and compact, uh, and it'll it'll get the job done nicely. Yeah, so that's 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 my suggestion. I don't have. I one. didn't have I any didn't, others. I, I, I didn't get. Looking. I didn't get this far down on the question list. Yeah. I had too many. I was. Doing the other the other nice thing about them is uh, I'm pretty sure that that uh, Emotiva Base X uh, preamp does have a subwoofer output. But if because I know that Justin likes to swap out his equipment a lot, mm -hmm. you know, it's just it's what he likes to do, which is totally cool. So one of the nice things about the uh, Outlaw M8 is it actually has speaker wire inputs for oh, the subwoofer nice. as well. So if you ever do switch over to a different two channel preamp or amp or something like that, and you just need to use a speaker wire connection, you'd be able to do so with that particular sub. So I, I think it fits the bill. Let's... Yeah, I'm trying to think. I can't think of any other $350 subs out there that spring to mind. Yeah, I mean, the only other ones I know are all forward firing, right? You've got Emotiva's own S12, but that's right. forward firing. you got that uh, RSL speed woofer 10. It just because something is forward firing does not mean it has to actually. I mean, I guess it does. This. I mean, you, you could. Make your own feet and aim it down. Yeah. <laughs> so that starts getting weird. <laughs> well, that, I, yeah, I don't really recommend that. So, yeah, forget it. Go with that. So he's been checking out Monoprice's new Monolith series products. We already know uh, the amps are made by ATI. The portable headphone uh, amp slash DAC looks an awful like a lot like Oppo's. Any idea <laughs> what OEM might be behind the new uh, that new 
desktop amp. I'm looking at it. Hold on a second. Yeah, yeah. So they so they introduced uh, at Cedia uh, some new Monolith series products. Uh, they had two headphone amps. One is a portable headphone amp slash DAC, and the other one is a desktop headphone amp slash DAC. Um, so I don't know for sure at all. I, I really don't know. However, a little bit of speculation because one of the things they're including in there is Dirac Sense Surround which is uh, where actually actually asks about that. So maybe we'll just uh, talk about that right now. Dirac sense around is uh, Dirac's version of getting the sound out of your head when you're using headphones. Mm -hmm. So Justin asked, is that using like a head related transfer function type processing, or is it just, you know, the, the phase manipulation, like the old um, headphone modes, you know, like Dolby headphone or something like that. Uh, so from what I know of Dirac Sense Around, that is based on head-related transfer function type of measurements, right? So uh, the dummy head <laughs> type of thing where they're, mm -hmm. they're trying to simulate the head-related transfer function that would be applied to a sound to get it to sound like it's coming out of your head. So it's Dirac's version of that. Uh, but in particular, Oppo and Dirac teamed up uh, particularly for Oppo's smartphones, which aren't really sold much in North America, but they're popular elsewhere in the world, uh, to bring Dirac Sense Around processing into Oppo branded smartphones. And they had this whole partnership. And I haven't really seen Dirac Sense Around in a whole lot of other things. So given that Justin's absolutely right, that portable headphone app slash DAC looks a heck of a lot like Oppo's existing one. Is that and the this new... Sonica one? Is that what you're talking about? No, the Sonica DAC is is a separate Oppo thing, but they have their uh, HA2, I think it is now, um, or something like that. I forget HA2 what Oppo's. HA2 SE, it's like a portable one. I don't. Yeah, that's their portable one. And they don't have a, Oppo isn't selling a desktop headphone amp anymore. Right. Um, so the it, old one had a display on it though, didn't it? This it did. Have a yeah. This one doesn't have a display. It's less expensive. It doesn't have as many inputs and outputs as Oppo's previous, uh, desktop headphone amp. But, um, let's just say I really wouldn't be shocked to find out that Oppo is the OEM of both of those headphone amps slash DAX. Cause the whole Dirac sense around partnership thing, uh, just the overall look and design of them. I mean, the if you look at the back panel of this, uh, it's exactly what I'm trying monolith, to do. <laughs> Where are the spec? Okay. Yeah, if if you look at the uh, Monoprice Monolith desktop uh, headphone amp, it's got like the same layout of like the RCA input a pair of XLR inputs and then the RCA input for the other side. Like that's exactly the same as Oppo's old desktop headphone yeah, the amp bottom that they've half discontinued. Of it. It's, yeah, it's like the it's it's, it's similar it, it to looks, bottom half it, of it. Yeah, so it's, there's there's definitely some things making me suspect that Oppo is the OEM here. Uh, I wouldn't be shocked if that were the case, hmm. but I don't know. I don't know for sure. All right, uh, model price model with headfire headphone amp includes uh, Dirac Sense Around two. Yeah, that's that's. Is what that, I was just do we already talked about this? All right, that so what I, I just we're did, done yeah. with this guy. We're done. That's it. You're that's done it for this week for Justin. I was so busy looking at Oppo amp, I didn't pay any attention. So Justin, <laughs> I, I hope I hope he helped you. <laughs> Once your question answered, send it to question at avrant.com. Is A.V. Rant. Now go out and listen to something.